Hey guys, this is Izam and welcome back. So this video is the fourth in the series of digital still life watercolor painting using Taya Swiss Sketches Pro app on the iPad Pro. I am using the iPad Pro. You can be using any kinds of iPad which can run Taya Swiss Sketches Pro app. In today's video, we will be drawing uh, the kiwi fruit. I hope you can follow through. I'm going to make it very, very easy and simple. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay guys, let's start a new drawing. Again, let's take a look at our watercolor brush, the second brush. Now, press and hold to get the size. I'm going to set the size to about 90. And then I'm going to change the color. Okay, select this color. This color is this. These are the values. All right, in case you want to know. It's actually one of the presets, so you don't have to uh, change anything. Okay, make sure that the brush opacity is set to the highest, to the fullest. Set to about 90. Okay, and then start to paint. To paint an oval shape like that okay it doesn't have to be perfect to remember that okay we're done now let's dry that next thing we're gonna do is make a new layer okay the reason why I always make a new layer for different elements is because I do not wish it to be a destructive change because if I were to make any changes it will not be um, difficult to change so here we are going to do uh, change a new color to this one this is the value in case you want to know okay so for this one we are going to set the opacity to about 74 or 75 and then I'm going to color it in. I'm not sure whether you can see it. Okay, just like that, right in the middle. Now, for this case, we are going to use the water brush. Okay, here, we're going to add some water and drive the water out. In this case, remember to set the size to about 40. Okay? and just push it up. Also, remember the opacity set to the lowest. Push out, because we do not wish to see hard edges for this middle oval color, okay? That is done. So now, we're gonna add another layer. And this time, we're gonna add a very much lighter color, something like this okay, this is this color let's try this color all right let's see whether it works for this one we're gonna put it over here oh I'm sorry we should actually change our brush to the second one now this time set the opacity to the highest and let's begin okay just paint over some more right in the middle and we're done that is it. Finish. So now, the next thing that we are going to do is set the opacity a bit lower to about 80. Set the brush size okay, lower to about 20. Now let's zoom in. Now let's paint like that. Okay, let's make some flares up. I think we should make it smaller still, 14, uh, like that. Okay, just flare out, just like that. And that is good. I think make it a bit longer, stretch it out some more. Okay, we're done. Dry. So next, have another layer. And this layer, we're going to draw the seeds. But before we draw the seeds, we're going to draw 
We're gonna paint over it with a much a bit darker of a color of a green color and this is the value 80, 155, 52 and now Again, make sure the opacity is about 80 and the size is about 14 and then we'll try to slowly fill it in. Fill in these white flares here that you see. Doesn't matter if it doesn't look much of a kiwi fruit yet. Okay, try it. This is done, okay, and the next thing, let's have a dark green color, or maybe this color would be fine too, okay, this color is this, it's actually one of the preset, this is black, remember this, um, set the opacity to the highest, this is the second brush, the size will remain at 14 just now, and then just just like that. Just add the seeds. Okay, and random. Now the, it has to be darker. Yeah, it's like that. Dark. Try to make it random, okay? I'm sure you can do it randomly. Just add the seeds. And we are done. Alright. And that's it. Save. The next thing I would like you to do, okay, we are going to darken this layer. So what we do is, we're going to duplicate like that, okay. This is another method I'm going to show you, so duplicate like that. Now we have the same three layers of duplicates. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to merge all of this. So what I will do, press and hold drag it over and release and it will ask you whether you want to merge yes I do next thing press and hold go over this, the, the layer below it and merge that's it now we we have a much darker center portion okay now we are not done yet so what we're going to do is we're going to have um, another layer and then, and then this time, let's make um, this layer the bottom to make it easy for us. Because we're going to draw um, the outer layer of the fruit. And the outer layer of the fruit, the color is brown. Alright? So, let's zoom out. Set our brush. To the second one and the size to about maybe 60 okay opacity full now let's begin let's draw like a cup and this is the reason why we put it to the bottom layer because you can have a little bit of um, safety you do not uh, overlap that much you it is um, much more forgiving Okay, color it in the bottom layer, close to the bottom, make it darker. So now, we still have a bit more work to do. We need some more brown over here. So make it, make the brush size smaller and just draw it like that. Save. Okay, that is done. Next is the, you know, kiwi fruit, the, the skin is quite hairy. So we're going to show that, all right, we'll show that. Um, just choose this color. Let's see whether it will appear. Maybe we'll choose this color, all right. And set the opacity to about 90. Set the size to about... 10 or 11 and then just like that and stop stop right there and now dry now this is light color we're gonna have a dark one 
Okay, a much darker one. This is the color. Alright. And a bit more. Try not to overlap the white one. Okay, just fill in the empty spaces and stop. And then now, do change the color to a much darker brown. This brown is the same as this brown, so we let's press and hold this and choose a darker hue of this brown and add. Okay, so where is it adding? Over here. Alright, so just to show you, here's the value. Alright, in case you want to know. And now let's fill it in. This time, just set the opacity to the fullest and just flick. Try not to overlap. Okay. And dry. Okay. Does it look hairy to you? I think so. Okay, now the fun part begins. Add a new layer. Okay. We're gonna add the reflections. Now, the reflections, the light will be coming from around here. So the right the light will be directed down from here, downwards. So let's do this. We're gonna change the color to white. You can set the opacity to full and maybe change the size to about 12. And I'm going to oh, maybe set it to much bigger. Okay, and dry. Okay, and a few more over here. Zooming in to let you see what's going on. This gives it, you know, the the wet effect to make it look as if the kiwi, the surface, is wet. All right, and dry. Okay, that is done. Maybe have some over here. And we're done. Stop. Now, I have another layer. We're going to add some, something cool right now. We're going to add um, maybe, um, what do you call that? A drop of liquid. As if... Um, the kiwi is dripping with uh, its juice, okay? Like that. Okay. Now, the juice, it can't be totally white like this. So what we do is, we're going to change, we're going to take this eraser, alright? And then set the size to a bit smaller, set the opacity to about 60 and then we just oh maybe not this brush uh, this eraser use the blur one okay use this one and let's begin oh it's too big okay undo that make the size smaller size to about 22 let's see what it can do okay make it a bit smaller again 16 then like that Okay. What we're trying to do is get the, the whitish areas at the edges. The middle part is clear. Okay. And that's it. So, since the light is coming from here, right, we might want to play around with the shadow. But before we, before we add the shadow, beneath. Let's add some, um, you know, shadow at the top over here. So take out your this layer, okay, where we draw the green, and we're going to add something else. We're going to add this shade of green, or maybe not this shade of green. We're going to add, let me see, let's add a different hue, okay, Let's change this color. 
gonna make it a bit darker. Okay, this is the color that I am going for. I'm gonna show you the values. Here are the values. All right, and second brush, opacity to about 70, brush size about 50. I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna color in, okay, like that. The outer edges, just like that. Add some character to this, like some details. Make it seem like, hey, it's roundish, you know? Okay, now we're done. Don't mess around too much with it. Press the brush, the water brush, and then just, oh, too big. Set the size to about 23. And just work it in. Just pull out the edges. Okay, pull out the edges of the stroke. See on what I'm doing? I'm just leaving these bits here untouched. Because when it dries, it will look like this. Very nice. Okay? Very, very watercolor looking effect. Alright, so that is done. The final touch will be the shadow. But I'm not too happy about the center portion. I think it's a bit too small, right? But if you think it is too small, you can resize it if you want to. All right? But for now, I'm just gonna leave it. So here, again, change the brush to the second one. I'm gonna set the size to bigger. I'm gonna change the color to this color. Let's see what color this is, okay, and set the opacity to about 90, set the brush size to about 145, and then just color in. Take note that the light comes from here, right? So the shadow will be like that. Okay, more towards here. And now, get your water brush, set the size to about 60, and just drag it out. And another fun thing that we can do, okay, maybe let's put it on the same layer as the shadow. Grab your Indian ink tool, pen, set the size to the biggest and then set the opacity to about 65 and then just lightly touch lightly touch okay another one lightly touch gives it the splash effect okay i like this lightly touch okay that is done Oh, right, so this, oh, finally, don't forget, what is this? Ah, this is the droplet. We are going to, um, right, set the size to about 12 or 10, opacity to the fullest, and I'm going to write um, the name. Name is Kiwi, Kiwi. Oh, let's do that again. Kiwi fruit. Done. So that's done. I hope you like that video. I hope it is easy to follow. I made it very, very easy and simple. You can follow through. So if you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel because you will get notifications whenever I put up uh, new videos on my channel on YouTube. So until then, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.